Samsung has avoided acquisitions for decades. But in the past two years, the world's biggest smartphone maker has been expanding into new businesses. It comes as its smartphone business, one of its biggest profit generators over the past few years, slows down and it reels from a massive recall of its Galaxy Note 7 smartphones. Samsung is the world's biggest producer of components used in smartphones and other consumer electronic gadgets. Its latest $8 billion acquisition of Harman Industries highlights its continued expansion into the components business, an area that Samsung has led against competitors in Japan, Taiwan, and China. The Harman deal will add General Motors and a roster of other big car names to its client list, alongside tech companies like Apple. In August 2014, Samsung acquired SmartThings for $250 million. The U.S. startup helps connect home appliances to one another. Samsung has been trying to expand in the Internet of Things area, hoping that consumers will use more of its smartphones to control home appliances like refrigerators and washing machines. In February 2015, Samsung spent $160 million to buy U.S.-based Lupay, a developer of mobile payment technologies. The technology is now used in Samsung's mobile payment service called Samsung Pay, similar to Apple Pay. Samsung's acquisition of cloud computing services provider Joyent signals the South Korean technology giant's growing interest in big data. It's part of a broader effort to use powerful remote computers to bolster its data analysis and the computing capabilities of its devices. Joyan competes with Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure in renting out the use of computer servers and data centers to third-party companies. Lastly, Samsung snapped up artificial intelligence company Viv Labs in October for an undisclosed sum. Samsung is trying to incorporate AI technology into its next Galaxy phone due out next year, revamping its flagship smartphone. Many U.S., Japanese, and Chinese tech companies, including Apple, Alibaba, and Baidu, are also expanding in the same areas as Samsung, and we'll be watching the tech giant closely.